Well, let's see. It's time for everybody to be here. Let's check them out. Hey, Janita, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? Well, same old story. What about you? <laughs> well, I'm really tired. I, really? I work a lot yesterday. Jesus, it was a crazy day. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I remember you were during the class. You were not available for me. I'm sorry, teacher. I, I listen, but I, I was very busy because I'm making a software, but uh, well, today no, was- No making a software, you are designing. Designing, well, development? No, not or, really development, or de designing. Or developing, so, or developing, you can say developing. Development. Designing or developing, not making. Yes, it's true. It's my, oh. it's my bad. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, because you know, I'm a very demanding person and I was like, oh man, Janira is not in my class. How come? <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, but I'm ready for your class today. No, 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 today you are mine for good, okay? No interruptions because we are having fun today. It's going to be very interesting. You know, today is the, the conversation class. Ah, yes. Today is Friday. Yep, it's conversation. So today we're going to talk a lot. Let me see. We got to speak a lot. We also have a, a small presentation. We are going to see something that is very good for speaking. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, it's new vocabulary, but it, well, new and all at the same time. But we are going to see it to check it out through the grammar point, and it's going to help you in order to make more complex sentences. It's going to be interesting, actually. Nice, nice teacher, really nice. Because today we are working with connectors, conjunctions. Okay, okay. Like, and, or? Yep. Today we are talking about something very interesting that is called like this in English. In grammar, we know it like hand boys. Hand boys. And that yeah. is, is a connector too, or not? Okay, look at the look at the spelling. Fan boys. Fan boy. For, what does? for and neither, but or <coughs> yet still fan boys. Ah, nice. It's a, a chronic. Yep. And your question is like this. Lo que usted me va a preguntar es esto. What? I'm sorry. Let me see. Let me see. Your question should have been stated like this. Okay. What? When you got letters like a, a, a siglas, you ask like this. What does it stand for? That's the question. What does it stand for? What does it stand for? Okay. Yeah, when you ask that question, you are telling me what does that 
that word means, okay? But it's when we are talking about uh, 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 siglas, okay? Okay, okay, nice. So tell me, Shanira, how was your vacation time? You were not with me these two weeks, so what were you doing? Work a lot, teacher. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, I work a lot. <laughs> I was this close of believing you. <laughs> Teacher, come on. I, I sent you a, 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 a picture yesterday. I, I work. I was working. Um, I tried to say work in past, but it's difficult to pronounce. Worked. 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 Yeah, like that. OK. Well, Shanira, so good to have you here. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Nice to... Okay. How do yes. you say? Nice to... Uh... To see you again? Yes. To see you again. Yeah, nice to see you again, too. I'm happy to have you in my group. Thank you, teacher. Uh, okay, guys. Now, for the new ones, I will switch into Spanish for a second. Let's see. I got Nestor, Jensi, Marcella. Um... Para los nuevos, nuevos conmigo. Eh, perdón, voy a pasar a español un instante. Normalmente uno, uno o dos días de la semana lo dedicamos muchísimo, muchísimo a conversación. Y este día, today is Friday, we are going to be speaking a lot. Ok, so don't feel worried like it, just feel like it never starts. No vayan a sentir que nunca comienza. We are already working, ok. So let's see, Ambar, hello, Ambar, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, what about you? I'm just great, Ambar, tell me, what's the plan for the weekend besides going to church? You always go to church. Besides that, tell me, what's the plan? Well, I don't have any plans be, uh, because, uh, do you remember, uh, I... Oh, yeah, you, yeah, 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 I remember. So I have gonna stay my... Live absence, right? Live of absence. That's Live right. Live of so you, absence, exactly. So you're gonna be home resting. Exactly. Uh, maybe okay. I will watch a um, movie, a movie on Netflix, or I will listen music. Only that. Okay. Look at this question, Amber, in the chat. How much time still to go? It means mm -hmm. how much time do you have of absence yet? Of permission? Mm, 10 or 12 days. Okay, that's fine. Yes. That's fine. It's good. That means that you're going to have enough time to recover. Exactly. As long as there's no complications. So Ambar, behave, stay home, rest. Yes. If they call you from your company, if somebody from, you know, support, if somebody who works in your company and works with support calls you, don't answer, don't pay attention to that person. And if that person's name is Janira, even worse. Never, <laughs> never. Okay, teacher. Thank you for, how do you say consejo? Advice, advice. Okay. Thank you for your advice. Uh, no problem, no problem. Okay, thank you, Amber, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Hey, William, how are you? Good evening, teacher, and class my Very, very well, teacher. Okay, tell me, how was your day, William? How do you say mojé, teacher? I got wet. On the way home, I got wet, teacher. Oh, really? Oh, yes. It was raining? Uh, very much. Oh, really? Yes. Hey. Uh, strong. A strong rain. A strong rain. Oh, man. You know, here where I live, we just felt a little mist a long while ago. 
Acá tuvimos yeah. una pequeña llovizna, a little mist. Yeah. A while ago, but no much. I mean, it's not raining right now. It's just a little bit fresh, a little bit. Teacher, uh, how do you say aún? Yet. Uh, aún así? Oh. Oh, 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 that's a different thing. Even then, or even so, you can also say, although, no, although means a pesar de. Even then, or even so. Even so, my day was quite interesting. Oh, really? Yes, teacher. That's nice, that's nice. Hey, I love, you know what? I love that roof tile. I love that roof tile you got behind yourself. I love that roof tile. Do you know what is roof tile? Look in the chat, I text it to you, roof tile, they have. Okay, teacher. That means teja. I like that roof tile you got behind yourself. Me gusta esa que tiene atrás de usted. Uh, my daughter. Ain't it? Yes, yes. Oh, that's uh, nice, that's nice. Uh, it's, it's una homework. Oh, really? It's a homework. Excellent. That's cool, that's cool. Ahí está mi, my, my baby. Oh, that's nice. Well, excellent, William. And welcome to the class. Thanks. Uh, hey, Walter. Walter, how's connection tonight? Hello, teacher. How are uh, you, my friend? I'm fine, teacher. And they relax. Oh, really? Man. Yes, uh, and the you week, know, uh, some of your classmates don't like that. Uno de sus compañeros no le agrada. On Monday, Walter says, oh, relax day. Everything <laughs> calm. Yeah. And everybody on Mondays, we are like, oh, and Walter is like, no, so calm, so good, no problem at all. Yes, teacher. Uh, it's life. <laughs> yeah, that's life. Yes, That's the way it is. Well, Walter, moments. welcome. Welcome to the class, Walter. Nice having you here. Okay, thank you, teacher. Today we are going to have a lot of information. Let's see who else is around. Jensi, hello, hello, Jensi, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. A little tired. A little it's bit Friday. Tired. <laughs> yeah. nah. You know, I just Friday, feel so. Um, and the body knows. Uh, uh, with low battery. <laughs> oh, come on. Low energy. <laughs> come on, it's, we need, it's Friday. We need but... to rest for weekend. Come on. You know what? In my case, I feel like accelerated because we just, it's just the second class. So I'm like, man, I feel like we're starting the week. So tell me what are the plans for the weekend, Jensi? Uh, for weekend, I guess I, ah, tomorrow I have to go to the dentist. Ouch. Um, yes, ouch. <laughs> um, uh, maybe go out with some friends and, and just rest. I like to stay at my house <laughs> because yes. every uh, all the week is really busy and it's, it's I heavy. like to sleep <laughs> and I like to, to stay, stay here. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. It's good to know that. So Sunday is the same. You're going to be home, relaxed, rest. On Sunday, I have to do my my cleaning, <laughs> my cleaning my house because it's the only day that I am here all the day. Okay, um, so you have to do the house chores 
house chores. Yeah. Oops, I'm sorry. There's a mistake there. Hold on. House chores. Okay. Well, and yeah. sometimes I go to the park with with my dog. Oh really? I walk. I have to walk. You take your um, your dog for a walk. Huh? I take my dog for a walk. Oh, sometimes. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice. You know, we got people here who really loves dogs. Like Amber, she's got like I don't know how many dogs. How many dogs do you have, Amber? I have one dog and one cat. Okay. She's got one dog and one cat. Janira, Janira loves dogs. How many dogs do you have, Janira? I have four dogs and a parrot. Four dogs, wow. four dogs and a parrot. So you see, people here I do have you. one. <laughs> <laughs> Roxana's got a cat that is like part of the class. The cat is always around her. Well, Jensi, welcome to the class. Nice having Thank you here today. You. <laughs> okay, guys, for the rest, for the ones who are connecting, remember today is a conversation. Today we're going to talk. So I am so sorry for the ones that came before, but Roxana, I want to, to say hi to you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Yesterday Good evening. was very, very interesting. I know, I know, I know. Congratulations. I am so happy. Thank you. Yeah, and now I see that smile that I like to see in my class. Yeah, I have. I think that I have um, ojeras. How do you say ojeras? Ooh, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, you always get me with vocabulary. Mapaches man. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I no, think no, that no. I'm happy. No, it's actually what we call it in English is different. We say baggy eyes. Baggy eyes, yeah. Baggy eyes. That's what yeah. we Thank call you. it. Thank you. Because we don't refer to the to the color. We refer to the to the eyelid. No referimos al color sino al párpado. Baggy oh. eyes. Uh, baggy is similar to bolsitas. Yep. Oh, so I have a lot of. But I have baggy eyes. Okay. I have baggy eyes. But, but you're happy. It, yeah, it was a good week. And I hope the rest of the year of the life will, uh, will be better than yesterday. Or okay. than the That's a good attitude. That's a good attitude. Yeah. Now the bad part. Roxana, I hate you. Why? <laughs> Come on. Your image, you have a grease on your on your profile. Now you got Egypt. Tenía la foto en Egipto. Ahora tiene una. Tenía la foto en Grecia. Ahora una en Egipto. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but you, he, I you know, think that it's, it's hard for me even to go to Soyapango. <laughs> and that's like five minutes from my house. I don't have time for that. Yeah, but it. It's, no, it happened, happened when I was a young. Okay, you say it like this. You say it like this, look. You say, uh, oh man. It's all in the past. It's, it's all, all in, the past. in the past. Yes, it's oh. all in the past. So in this time, I was working, 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 working all the time until 3, 3 a.m. sometimes, 5 a.m. Uh, oh. And yeah, so when I had a um, vacation, I tried yeah. to um, take doing, advantage. Yeah, with my she friends. A lot, of, a lot of money, teacher. No. Yeah. Because no Mexico, Mexico Brazil <laughs> Greece Egypt Man. no I traveled because I was a uh, cheaper um, boletos ticket tickets than other person because in my case for example I paid 100 
25 and I went to New York. Oh, really? Tell me, how was Ibiza? How was Ibiza? I didn't, no, I, I have visited Ibiza. No he visitado Ibiza, ¿verdad? I haven't. I haven't visited oh. Ibiza. I mm. traveled to um, Madrid. Okay. Eh, as a ma Barajas. ¿Va? So you got to Barajas. Barajas, yeah. Eh, huge. Grace, that thing is huge. Yeah. Huge. Grace, mm. Egypt, Turkey, United States. And oh, so you went to Kabul? What is the meaning for Kabul? Kabul? Kab no, 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 no. In Turkey? Ah, come on. Esta no, eh, Istanbul. 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 Just so you went to the market? Yeah. Oh, man, that market is awesome. Yes, because they have a awesome. lot of uh, artesan, artesanía. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, craftsmanship. Yeah, they have yeah, a but lot you, of. But you have to be very careful with your with your ports. Yes. Tenga mucho cuidado con la cartera there but, because they, I mean, they take it from you. Yeah, but I think that is a uh, more dangerous uh, Paris. The last time I visited Paris, and when I take the metro. And I took when I when I took the metro car, the subway, the, metro, the subway, uh, some uh, girls uh, is closing. Is, uh, estaba, no, was were closing uh, to yes. me. And when I see my back, one of her, uh, one of her hands was stealing. It's inside, me. yeah. And I just have maybe thirty minutes in Paris. Oh, really? Is that yeah, it was the first uh, subway that I okay, took. Okay, well, let's see. Where were you going? What part of Paris were you going? Uh, yeah, what, what part of Paris were you going? If you were moving from the airport to the city, that's yeah, normal. That happens. Yeah. That happens. It was... But from the city to other places is better. Yeah, but, but I think that but it, that that part from the airport to the city is like oh yeah. man, it's I remember. Complex. Yeah, I remember that I took the bus in the mm -hmm. airport and traveled to the station. Rem, yeah, to the station, and then I take the I took the Book. I took the subway to the central to the central. Yeah, yeah. downtown and. To the downtown yeah and in this in this uh, subway the girl yeah. tried to yeah yeah and that one is normal and that one is normal but the rest i mean there are some beautiful places and actually very protected places but that that part of the shift is very dangerous yeah paris had a lot of um extranjeros foreigners Foreigners, so uh, I don't know where uh, they don't there. Where is the place? Where, where were they from? Where were they from? But uh, the most of the person are um, Morenos. Yeah, but you gotta remember something. Some of a lot of them are not like foreigners. They they are actually. French people, but they are from the islands. Maybe. So I remember that uh, when you are in um, the park or popular um, Touristic street, places. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of, um, it has a lot of uh, foreigners and they always, it's, it was near, near to you and talking a lot of um, idioms, English, Spanish, uh, French. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I didn't yeah, understand. you know, 
You know, actually, uh, Africa is very close, and a lot of people from Africa actually they speak French. Yeah. So I think that um, Paris is dangerous for me. Well, you know, I grew up in Soyapango, so. It's different. <laughs> that's piece of cake. Yeah. Fernando well, always, always is, is um, molestando me, joking, no. Yeah. Bothering Fern me, bugging me, bugging me. Bugging me. Fernando always bugging me about Soyapango. Yeah, All the time. Soyapango Soya school. Well, thank yes. you, Roxana. Welcome. Okay. Let's see. You. Let's see. I got who else do I have here? Hey, Fabiola, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm well, very busy. But okay. Okay. Look, today is Friday. Friday for us <laughs> is the class that is a little bit more informal, as you can see. Today we are more focused on speaking. Okay. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Fridays for us are speaking, talking about plans, talking about the weekend. So, Fabiola, tell us a little bit about yourself. We don't know you. Tell me, Fabiola. Uh, let's see, let's see. How old are you? Uh, it's very difficult for me to speak. Um, I try. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to be asking you. So, tell me, Fabiola, where are you from? I live in Lourdes. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> And tell me, how old are you? I'm uh, 31 years old. Oh, you're a kiddo. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. And tell me, are you married or single? Uh, married. <laughs> okay. What's your husband's name? Um, how do you say? Es que soy casada, pero me separé. Pero oh. Okay, ah. no comments then. No comments. <laughs> Tell me, do you have any kids? Yes, I I have a one child. Okay, is it a boy or a girl? Uh, it's a boy. Oh really? How old yeah. is he? Perdón. How old is he? Ah, uh, he is, he is all kids, eight years old. Eight years old, eight years yes. old. Oh, a little kiddo. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what are the plans for the weekends, for the weekend, Fabiola? What are you going to do tomorrow, Sunday? Maybe tomorrow, maybe... I go to visit my family. I okay. don't know. <laughs> where where do they live? In San Salvador. Oh, really? That's nice. Mm -hmm. So tell me, you live in Lourdes. What part? You live in Las Moras? You live in Lourdes? You live by Poliedro? Where? No, Lourdes. I live in Lourdes. Downtown. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I used to live there like a long while ago. Yo viví unos meses por ahí, but I was oh. young at that time. Yo era joven. It was a long, long while ago. Okay, welcome to the class, Fabiola. Thank you. Yes, Roxanne, okay. I was young at that time. Yeah, yeah, a long while ago. Let's see. Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hi, teacher. You? Okay. Good evening. Tell me, Carlos, is it raining in your house, in your town? Yes, teacher. Actually, uh, it's raining. Uh, I, I, uh, a few min minutes ago, I have a bad connection, but actually the connection is more I don't, stable. I, I stable. don't know how do you say stable. 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 Uh, yes. Um, but I, I, 
I, I, I hear conversation about uh, Roxana. <laughs> I, oh yeah, that's, I that's a whole different level. You know, that's a whole different level, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have to plan, to make a plan, to get the savings, to get to the, I need to, to crash my piggy bank. I need to crash my piggy bank. Mercancia, that's a piggy bank. Yeah. I need to crash my <laughs> piggy bank to go to Guayua. And Roxana says, ah, ah, come on. Yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole I, different story. <laughs> yes. I only, I only, uh, Viajo. Travel? Travel. I only travel to Guayua, to Soyapango. Sí, from Guayua to Soyapango. <laughs> and, and you feel a long travel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean the, the, the only flight we know is if, if you take one too many. El único yes. que conocemos es que tomamos una de más. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens. So tell me, yes. Carlos, what's the plan for the weekend? What you got this okay, week? Okay, I, I, I think I, 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 I have a, a lot of work in my house. I stay at oh. home. Yes. Um, in my, uh, out of my house, the grass is, uh, is very high. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So this weekend you are going to do this. Look, you are going to mow the lawn. Mow the lawn. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know that means a. Uh, that means cortar el pasto. Okay, I, I have to. Uh, maybe in the morning. Because in the, in the afternoon, usually, or not. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There was some mistake. It's mow, mow, mow the lawn. Mow. Okay. That's cortar el césped or el pasto. Mow the lawn. Okay, teacher. Well, then, then um, on Sunday, maybe I visited my mom. She, she lived uh, in... The Urdes. Okay. Yeah, I, I go to, I, I visit, I visit, I will visit the, her, her house teaching. Okay, where does she live in Lourdes? Yes, my, my mom lived in the in Lourdes, in, okay. in Nuevo Lourdes teacher. Oh, I know there, I know there. It's big. It's a but, little bit big. But in Nuevo Lourdes, the weather is really hot. Really yeah, it is. well, during the day, at night, it's fresh. Yeah. At but night, it gets fresh, but during the day, it's hot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that. I mean, uh, I got a cow, I got a cousin. Well, one cousin of mine used to live there. Really? Yeah, my grandma used to live before by Poliedro. Ah, okay. My grandmother used to live there, so for a little while, like for six months, I was living there with her. But, ooh, that was like Roxana said, ooh, ooh. a long <laughs> while ago. I was, I was 17 years old, just imagine, it was like 24 years ago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a long while ago. Well, Carlos, welcome to the class. Thank you. Nice having you here. Okay, okay. guys, before I continue, I need to take the, 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 the attendance. So please be ready because I'm going to ask for it. Just give me a second. I need to get everything set up. And where is the attendance? Oh, right here. Let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. 
Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Okie dokie. So we're missing a class, Silvia, Alfredo. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's keep on talking. Let's keep on talking. Let's see, hey, Fernando, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I'm here okay. listening, listening the, the history of the travel of Roxana. Yeah, Roxana's <laughs> travels. Yeah, man, that's a whole different yeah. story. But so it's... tell. It seems to me incredible. It seems to me incredible that she said Paris is more dangerous than Soyapango. Yeah, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Come on. I, mean, I, it's incredible. I will I will think uh, perhaps let's see. Ooh. Turkey. Turkey, I would think, could be a little bit more dangerous. Yeah. Well, it depends where you go. It depends where you go. Some parts of there, believe me, are like a little yeah, bit dangerous. Yeah, but Soyapango is, is yeah, the number Soya one. Pango is, <laughs> Soya Pango is Soya Pango. I know. But I know. But in Soya Pango, a lot of people uh, know who is Roxana or who is my Oh, dad well. Because I no, grow with No here. comments. No comments there. No comments there. Because uh, no comments. I, grow, I was growing here. All the, o sea. Yeah, yeah. No comments. No comments. No comments. Yeah, no, we're no we're no going to be careful. We're going to be careful. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, so, Fernando, tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What's you going to do on Sunday? Uh, Sunday. Sunday, I don't have plan yet, but we will see. We will see on see. Sunday. Okay. What about tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? You got to work tomorrow, tomorrow morning. No, tomorrow, tomorrow, I, I won't work. I won't work. Oh, really? Yeah, really? What are you going to do then? Sleep late? Yeah. yeah, it's, no, it's, this, this, this Saturday is previous to the, the closing of the month, so I relax. Oh. Because the, the next Saturday, I, this one's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yes. So uh, this weekend is my home week, and I I I will do house chore. Okay. Yeah. A lot of house chore. Okay. And in the afternoon, my my sister started a, a little business. Uh, oh she, really? Yeah. She she sell. Yeah. She sell. Uh, Spanish chucos. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Mataniños. Ah, uh, Mataniños. Uh, it's the same. But uh, on Saturday, she, she sell uh, carne. Carne asada. Yeah, roast beef. Roast. roast beef. Roast beef. Yeah, roast beef. Oh, really? Uh, uh, barbecue. Or oh, you mean barbecue? Uh, no, no, no. Roast beef. Uh, roast beef. Uh -huh. okay. And my plan for tomorrow at night is uh, go to her, her house 
because she started his, his business in, in the La Cera. Okay, on the sidewalk. Her business, sidewalk. her business. Uh, her business on the, on the sidewalk. Sidewalk, so, sidewalk. So me, uh, like your brother, I support you. Ask her brother. Ask her brother, I support you. I support her, support her. Okay, I support her. Oh, that's good, that's good. It's always good to support the family. That's nice, that's nice. And you eat, that's cool. Yeah, obviously, I eat. With discount, that's cool, that's cool. With, with family discount. Oh, that's even better, that's even better. The family discount <laughs> is, the, is the best thing. That's it's nice, thing. that's nice. Yeah, let's see, tomorrow, oh no, tomorrow I suffer, man. Tomorrow is Saturday, it's Pupusa's day in my house. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Why? Sunday is uh, Pupusa's day. Uh -huh. In my house, in, Sunday is the... In my house is Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, Not no. Really. Terrible. You're happy, teacher. Very I happy. Hate, <laughs> I hate pupusas. A, a big smile. Like no, and, I don't like mm -hmm. them. But you always you, eat them. And you know, the other day they even they it got worse because they had tamales for dinner and tamales for breakfast. <laughs> Man, horrible. Uh, I don't think it does. It's good. In, in my house, my, my son, oh. uh, he doesn't like pupusas too. Oh, either, either, either. He either, he either like. No, he doesn't like pupusas either. Oh, he doesn't like pupusas. Either, either. at the end means tampoco. Oh, okay. So he prefers another things. Okay, interesting. Yeah, me too, me too. I don't like pupusas, I don't like tamales. Those are, uh, and these days, I mean, there's a lot of corn. Terrible. Estos días que hay mucho maíz es terrible. I mean, they offer me tamales, they offer me atole, they offer me riguas. Oh man, it's horrible for me. You aren't Salvadorian people, teacher. Uh, no, my thing, no, my thing. Well, Fernando, <laughs> thank you. Nice having you here in class. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, now we're going to talk with Jose. Hey, Jose, how are you? Jose. Yes, sir. Hello, Jose. Tell me, what's the plan for the weekend? What are you going to do on Sunday? Uh, I plan to rest and stay at home, teacher. Oh, maybe, okay. yes, maybe mm, mm, finish the, the third season of, of one series, uh, The Stranger Things. Oh, really? Thing. Yes, I have two episodes left. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> and, Let me see. That's and, cool. Yes. Maybe take a nap in the afternoon. So you plan to be a coach potato, my friend. <laughs> yeah. You and plan to be a coach potato. Do you know what is a coach potato, Jose? I don't understand, teacher. Okay, a coach potato is a person who sits on this who sits on the sofa, gets the remote control and some chips. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. So that's your plan for the weekend, to be a coach potato. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and then remind me, study. I, I got one. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, and then study English. That's to nice. improve that's my nice. vocabulary. And... Yeah. It's my plan. To... Yeah, let's see. You just remind me, I still got to watch... Uh, the last season of, I was in a series. Let me see what's the name of it. Peaky Blinders. I'm watching Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Yeah. But I am watching it uh, actually in English and it's British English and they got a uh -huh. company 
Cockney accent. So uh, for okay. me, it's, a, it's like a practice trying to understand everything. Yes. It's cool. It's cool. Some oh, words are, are, are uh, different. Pretty different, my friend. They're different. Yeah, they are very different. But I mean, for me, it's fun and it's also an exercise. So I, I got double benefits. Double benefits, yes. Well, nice having you here, Jose. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Hey, Daniel. Daniel is ready for the playoff. I saw him earlier. Hi, teacher. Yeah, you are ready for the playoffs, right? Yeah, always. You got your you got your LA jersey. Yeah. Okay, Daniel, tell me what's the plan for this weekend? It's gonna be rainy, so not going to the beach. Oh, I have to go to the beach, but oh, maybe really? in Sunday. But it's uh we have to make some things about a, a, an old project. So oh, we have so it's a business. To, it's a business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then it's understandable. So you're gonna be working on Sunday? Yeah, because Ouch. it was from maybe Sunday or Monday, but Monday it will be a really, really busy day. Oh really? Yeah. But what you got planned for Monday then? Uh, we have to make three uh, meetings with clients, and, and we have to go to the uh, Segura. I'm sorry. Uh, we have to go to Seguro. Seguro. I don't remember how do you say. Security? Security. Yeah, social security. Social security. Oh, okay. okay. So you've got to be on meetings, man. Meetings for me are like, oh, I get sleepy whenever I get into meetings. <laughs> yeah, me too. But sometimes it turns really interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, and necessary. Yeah. Well, good to have you here in class, Daniel. Thank you, teacher. Stay along. We are going to do some exercises. Let's see who else do I have here. Hey, Nestor, how are you? Nestor Omar, hello. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I don't listen. Go. No problem. No problem. Tell me, Nestor, what about you? What's your plan for the weekend? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, uh, I only first uh, travel to my to my house. I live in Chalchuapa City. Oh, really, Chalchuapa? That's uh, Santana, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, but only I the twelve. I I go to the twelve. To where? I go. I go. Um, sorry. It's a game. Tomorrow, uh, I still working. You listen? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, I still working. And I salir, perdón. Get out. Uh, I get out 12. Oh, no, no, no. In this case, it's check out. Check out. Del trabajo, you mean? Check out. Oh, okay. Thank you. I check out at 12. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't know. In my, my weekend is very simple because I only, uh, I want to the rest. Only. Okay. The rest. So you're gonna be resting the whole weekend. That's nice, cool. Yeah, because all all the the week um, I pass here in Santa Tecla. Oh, so the weekend you go to Chalchapa to your house and you rest. Yeah. 
Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you. Uh, I only went nice. past the time with my family. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, the time we spend with the family is something we always treasure. Thank you, yeah. Nestor, and welcome to the class. Let's see, Francisco. Hey, hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello, Francisco. Where are you, home or working? We never know with you, my friend. Uh, in my home. Uh, today, I am going to work in the morning. Oh, I went. I went. Sorry. I went to my work in the morning. Oh, really? So you finish working like 2, I guess, right? 2 or 3 p.m. Uh, yes, I go out at uh, uh, 2 p.m. Okay. And what about tomorrow? You got to work tomorrow? Yes, teacher. All day. Uh, all day long? <laughs> yes, from oh. uh, 6 a.m. To, to 10 p.m. Oh, all day. But in... in Sunday, uh, I I rest. <laughs> okay, I that's nice. rest. So, what about Sunday? What you got for Sunday? Just staying home and resting, or are you planning on something else? Um, and the plan teacher is I I I'm going to um, uh, buy uh, some fruit and vegetable to to market okay so you're going to buy some groceries those okay, are groceries groceries yeah when you buy food like you buy cereals fruit you go to the market and you buy food those are groceries oh, okay teacher thanks and in the afternoon uh, just rest teacher just rest <laughs> so you're gonna build you're gonna take it like slow this weekend yes the uh, this this week uh was a little tired little tired teacher <laughs> okay no this week was tiresome Tires, was tiresome tiresome yeah it was tiresome tiresome uh, is uh similar to a, a stressful no yeah well um when you say when you say the word uh when you say this word tiresome you are me you mean exactly cansada, or cansada. oh okay t-shirt okay. una semana cansada <laughs> yeah a tiresome week okay teacher today uh, we have a auditory in oh. in in our our site but I think uh, uh, it was an uh, internal, internal auditory auditing, internal auditing. Audit, okay, mm -hmm. teacher. Yes, it's internal auditing. Uh, but the next month uh, is external, external auditing. What this, you got? This, ISO? Yes, ISO. Oh, uh, oh yeah. That's re special. Re re certification, teacher. Oh man, that's special. I know what it's like. You say, okay, <laughs> so that's very, very interesting. Teacher, how do you say, eh, nos fue bien, por decirlo así? Oh, we did okay. We did, a, we we did, did okay. okay. Yeah, we did okay. Okay, teacher. This, I think tomorrow we did okay. Oh, we will do okay. We will because it's it's future. We will. Okay, Francisco. Yeah, ISO is very interesting. Well, I have taken ISO like a, like just like a regular teacher, and I have taken ISO as administrative. And man, that's heavy stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, are... I re I remember going to auditing with a lot of paperwork 
and yes. <laughs> and showing the paperwork and also in the platform in the system man i mean yes. once once i remember i is i it took me exactly seven hours the auditing just for me seven yes i spent <laughs> seven seven hours with some guy from colombia just auditing my work man it was was uh, was terrible horrible. teacher <laughs> yeah yeah being there done that i know that it's very very interesting well thank you francisco welcome to the class thanks teacher okay let's see let's see who else man i got a lot of people still to work maria alejandra where are you hi teacher <laughs> good evening <laughs> good evening maria alejandra she must be eating french fries yes eating <laughs> french fries. yes <laughs> uh, we know you maria alejandra <laughs> sorry so teacher. what's What's the plan? What you gonna do? Uh, tomorrow I have a long day in the work. At work. At, At work. work. And maybe in the night. Um, at night. At night. Sorry. And maybe at night make a falafel for the dinner. A what? Falafel. A what? <laughs> falafel. Falafel. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's a cook. Yes. <laughs> so I... the boyfriend is a lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> the the last week I make a falafel in the for my lunch. Okay, for um, lunch. For lunch, um, I. Mejorar, ¿cómo sería? I improve. Improve improve of the receipt or the yeah, the receipt. The receipt. And I like it. <laughs> In the old time I try, but I don't like it. But okay, look. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me text for you what you are meaning here. Let me see. It's like this. I liked it. I liked it. I Say like, with me. I liked it. I like. Again, I like, please. I liked it. I like it. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. She enjoys yeah. cooking. Yes. <laughs> and the Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday, I. Mm, the same routine of all my Sunday. You're gonna go visit your father, your mother? No, right? my father not see that Sunday, only in the week. Mm, it was the Thursdays. Thursdays. Yeah, Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And my, I see my mother, and my boyfriend lent me your hair here. No, his no, car. my car. Ah, his car, his car. And see my mother, maybe see my grandmother, and only that. Okay, I got two words for you. You can say, you can say my grandma, or you can say my granny. Uh, grandma or granny is the same as grandmother. Okay, I see. Just that, that grandma, that. grandma, grandma is in is in the United States. My granny, my granny, it's that's in England. You say my uh, granny. Okay, I write and I try to remember for the next time. <laughs> okay, perfect. No, cool, cool. Well, thank you, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see, I'm sorry guys, but I just have time for one more. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Claudia, how are you? Hi, sir. I'm fine. What's the plan for the weekend? Mm, I will shopping. To the I will go shopping. I will okay, go shopping. I will go shopping. And? 
And? And what else? What else are you gonna do? Um, in the afternoon, I, I will go to the church. I will go to church. I will go to church. Remember, if I don't know your religion, you say, I will go to church. That's in general. If you say, I will go to the church, that means that I know which church are you going to visit. So you say, okay. I will go to church. Okay. And, and so on Sunday, I will wash a uniform. And uh -huh. clean the house. And mm. yes. And the, I would the cook, house chores. I would cook wings. wings. With one with I will cook uh, wings with lemon and pepper. Mm. Interesting. Yes, it's delicious. That's nice. That's nice. Teacher, Let's I see. like I like rewas and tamales with coffee. <laughs> That get me sick. Eso me enferma. But but I, I don't have a day for it to pose on weekend. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, that's bad. That's bad. Pretty bad. You know, I was so happy, and then you remind me about that. Oh man, terrible. Thank you, Claudia. Hey, Felicia. Okay, teacher. Let's see. Where's uh, where's where's Maria Luisa? Maria Luisa. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. Just great. Thinking about my weekend. What you gonna do in your weekend? Um, in the morning, I I will go to the uh, baby shower. Oh, really? At, uh huh. At re uh, at the restaurant uh, Las Brumas at Volcano. Uh, volcano, Volcano. Volcano, Volcano. San Salvador uh, Volcano? El Salvador Volcano. Uh -huh. That's uh, celebrate, so, celebrate, celebrate the baby shower, the boy, the, my, my friend. My friend's baby shower. My my friend's baby shower. Okay. All right. Um, then, Is it gonna then, be a boy or a girl? A boy. It's oh. a boy. Uh huh. It's a boy. And then, then what you gonna do there? Uh, what? What you gonna do after that? No. No. Then. Then. Ah, then I will uh, at uh, at Sensuntepeque. Oh, you will go to Sensunte? Sí. I, Man, uh -huh. That's that's far. That's far. Yeah. I, okay. I, what part of Sensuntepeque where are you gonna go? What? What part? Where in Sensuntepeque? You're gonna go to San Isidro, Huacotecti, Sensunte. Uh, no, it's a Sensuntepeque. It's a Danta. no, it's a it's a Sensuntepeque. Okay, uh, the town, the town. The town, uh -huh, the town. Oh okay. uh, yeah. And uh, Sunday I I will I will I will to church. I with, will go to church. I will go to church with my mom. Then I go to I will go to the the breakfast. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, se me fue la palabra almorzar. Have eh, lunch. Uh -huh. I lunch with my with my mom and my son and my daughter. Then, uh, then I, I, I 
go to my my house. I I I go to my house. Go back home. Go uh -huh, go back home. Uh -huh. Okay, well, thank you very much, Maria Luisa. Interesting. Okay, thank hey, you. Hey guys, I need to get again the attendance. So Amber Eliel Faro Gomez, you still here? Ambar. Present teacher. Thank you, Ambar. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Okay, guys, look, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's still Silvia, there's Marcela, Susana. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that I didn't like talk to you, but we will do it later at the end of the class. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll have time for all of you, but I need to move on. Okay, look. Eh, I'm, I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Cambiaré español solo un momento. Para los nuevos, nuevamente les recuerdo, eh, les comentaba, quienes ya han estado conmigo, pues saben que siempre hay un día a la semana que dedicamos un gran parte de la clase al speaking. ¿Ok? Esto me sirve a mí para evaluar cómo estamos en pronunciación, en qué les puedo ayudar, corregir pequeños errores y siempre tiene un objetivo. ¿Ok? Como en este caso, el día de ahora, parte de nuestro tema gramatical será conjunciones. Algunos no se han dado cuenta, pero las están usando. And what are those? And, or, neither, still, yet, either. Those are conjunctions. What are they used for? Okay, they are used to get together different sentences. And we have been using it. How? Because you have been telling me, oh, I will do this and something else. You have told me, then, Fernando uses a lot, so. He was using so. Roxana was telling me, then and and. Janita was using a lot of and. Ambar was using then and but. So, Believe it or not, I'm, I am taking notes. Creando, no siempre tomo nota de esas pequeñas palabritas. And you've been using them. So that's actually what we are going to work with today. But before we get into it, we are going to make also a small review about yesterday. Do you remember yesterday's class? We were talking about comparatives, right? Yes, we are going to make a small review. And to do that review, we are going to go to check on the, on the manual, okay? We're gonna go to the manual on page number uh, 10. Let me share with you. We are here, okie dokie. Okay, we got here. Use the comparative form of adjectives to compare two people, things, or animals. Listen, use the comparative form of adjectives to compare two people, things, or animals. Delivery service is better than takeout. Okay, when the adjective has one or two syllables, make the comparative by adding 
ER to the end of the adjective, then use then after the adjective. And then we got examples like, the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. The waiters at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Coupe. Now look, cheaper than, faster than, you see, ER, ER, it expresses the comparative. When the adjective has more than two syllables, use more before the adjective and then after it. Remember, then means eh, for comparisons. All restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Now, let's see. Complete the statements using the comparative form of the, of the adjectives in parentheses. You, we got number one, delivery is more convenient than takeout. Now, number two, let's see. Sylvia, their beverage are? Sylvia. Uh, their beverages are cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Perfect. The beverages are cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Excellent. Let's see. Let's see. Daniel, number three. French restaurants are? French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. Yeah, of course, they are more romantic, okay? Well, actually, any restaurant is more romantic than fast food restaurants. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ambar, number four. Can you see it? Yes, the buffet at Ming Li restaurant is more complete than Chan's. Okay, perfect. The buffet of English restaurants is more complete than chance. Excellent, excellent. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Nestor, you got number five. Yeah, the, the service is faster. Um, uh -huh. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's faster. Faster than? than the restaurant we went to last week. Perfect, excellent. Their service is faster than the restaurants we went to last week. And very good pronunciation of this. We went to. Al que fuimos. Excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. And who's got number six? Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Number six goes to Marcela. Es que en la pantalla se ve borroso. The ambience in Jerry's kitchen is more appealing than the food more, they serve. Okay, more, more appealing, more ap appealing. appealing. More appealing, more appealing than the food. More appealing than the food they sell. Yeah, that that happens. That the the ambiance is more appealing than the food we sometimes buy. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's see. We are going to do an exercise. I got a question for some of you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Sylvia, tell me, what's the best service you have had in a restaurant? Sylvia. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, could you repeat the question, please? What's the best service you have had in a restaurant? The best service. Yeah. Tell me, which restaurant got the best service for you of the ones you have visited? Ah, yes, the best, uh, the best restaurant I have visited is Hola Ventos here in El Sonsal. They have a really good service because the food is delicious, the service, everything is clean, and the view of the restaurant is really gorgeous. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Silvia. Okay, let's see. Roxana, tell me. 
which which country is of the ones that of all the many countries you have visited tell me which is the one that you enjoy the most mm, i enjoy in, in the most in, in new york than others because they have a lot of uh, things to do and place to visit and places know, places to visit and it's for me it's more attractive than others appealing appealing well yeah well new york hmm. Hmm. yeah i think that is because maybe i can't um speak a lot of english but when i visit when i have visited another country it's more difficult yeah, uh, have communication yeah than others yeah 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 the only thing i don't like about new york is that it's too crowded a lot of people i yeah in the Times square oh that thing is crazy yeah. <laughs> But it, for me, it's the best than others. Yeah, but I mean, in New York, the sidewalks are huge. Las aceras son inmensas. Yeah. Because there's uh, a lot of people working. Yes. Uh, the last uh, time that that I visited New York, it was in December, two years ago. I, I no, three years ago, I think. And uh, I have, I had there in december 23 and 24 and the street it it, it was a very generous feeling it was packed packed yeah, yeah it was because, full yeah. yes i know what you mean well thank you roxana thank you. let's see amber where's amber 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 Sorry, teacher, give me five minutes because I have a visit. No problem, no problem, no problem, Thank no you. problem. Let's see, Fernando, tell me, Fernando, what do you prefer, Chinese food or Italian food? Uh, I prefer Chinese food. Okay, why do you think Chinese food is better? Uh, I like I like vegetable with rice. Oh, okay, and, yeah, and that's the base of Chinese food yeah and chicken okay that's cool that's cool excellent fabiola mm, my prefer restaurant maybe i don't know <laughs> the pampa very okay. delicious delicious food down the best meat 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 more than oh. the other restaurant mm. excellent uh -huh. more than others excellent excellent they have a exclusive attention <laughs> okay yeah the service is good they Very offer good. more wine <laughs> yeah and there's a, a little variety excellent thank you let's see let's see walter Walter is being very quiet today. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Okay, Walter, tell me, what's your favorite restaurant? Oh, my favorite restaurant is um, Plaza Marinera. <laughs> oh, really? Why do you like that? Um, I love in the seafood. Okay. All the seafood. All the seafood, teacher. And the fish. How do you say camarón? Shrimp? Shrimp? Shrimp. 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 Uh, and shrimp delicious teacher. Uh, I love it. I love in the seafood. Okay, excellent, excellent. What about you, William? Oops, William. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Tell me, Tell what's me. your favorite restaurant? Uh, I don't have any favorite Okay, for you it's just food. Yes, I. But I love the Calatasara. Oh, 
Okay. Why do you like it? Uh, best of all in mix. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much. Anna Belinda, tell me, what about you? Well, I don't know, Anna Belinda, she says food is food. Yes, teacher. All food is good, is good for me. <laughs> but my restaurant favorite is... No, is my favorite Martin. restaurant? My favorite restaurant is San Martin. Oh, really? Because for me, I, I have a delicious flavor and choice uh, many dishes, um, but dessert is good for, for me. Oh, the desserts. You like the desserts. Yes. Uh, you know, at San Martin, what I love is the cremas. I love them. Yes, it's delicious. And they are nice. They are nice. Well, thank you very much, Marta. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, so we have practiced comparatives. Now let's go to the next part of the class. Now, uh, today I sent you uh, to PPT, right? Well, I'll send you two PDF uh, files. The first one was yesterday's class and the second one is today's, okay? The one that I'm going to show you right now. Let me share with you guys. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Right here, Find junctions. Let's see. Okay, well, conjunctions. What are conjunctions? Those are words that they help us to make things go together. They can join together words, phrases, and independent clauses. Okay, now we are going to make a pause. When I talk about clauses, clauses are sentences, okay? Like, Maria Alejandra is a bad girl. That's a sentence, okay? But she is a good student. That's another sentence. In order to get those two sentences together, to get the two sentences together, I use a conjunction. That's a connector, okay? Because I said, Maria Alejandra is a bad girl, but she is a good student. You see, I have two sentences and I got them together with one word. The one word that I got in the middle was but. That's the job of conjunctions. They help us get ideas together. So we get two independent ideas and we make them into one sentence. Maria Alejandra is a bad girl. It's one sentence. It's just an example, Maria Alejandra, sorry. And we got the other sentence. She is a good student. Of course, that's just an example. She's not. I'm kidding. But you see, I got two sentences there. They are independent. They, when I say that they are independent, is that they don't need of the other sentence, okay, to exist. I can just say, Maria Alejandra is a bad girl. That's okay. One sentence, complete, full. One clear idea. Maria Alejandra is a good student. One clear idea. Now I get them together with the word bad. Okay. Roxana smiles a lot. And she is very angry. You see? Roxana smiles a lot and she is very angry at the same time. It's weird, no? And Roxana goes like, yeah, I am. You see, I got two opposite ideas and I got them together with one word and that's a conjunction. So when I talk about clauses, clauses are sentences, full sentences, just that we have a dependent clauses and independent clauses. What are the dependent clauses? Do you remember the, the, the conditional sentences? In conditional sentences, we use dependent clauses. When we say like, if, if Fernando comes to classes, he will understand a lot. In those cases, the clauses, we have the conditional clause and the result clause. They cannot exist alone. They got together, okay? Now, 
when we talk about conjunctions, we, they are used to get together, to join together, independent clauses, independent sentences, okay? Let's continue with the presentation. Any question up to here? Preguntas? We cool? A little bit? Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yes, here. Okay, there are seven, seven coordinating conjunctions. They are called fanboys. Fan for and nor. Okay, for explains reason or purpose, just like because. I go to the park every Sunday for I love to watch the dogs on the lake. I go to the park every Sunday because I love to watch the dogs on the lake. And adds one thing to another. I go to the park every Sunday to watch the dogs on the lake and feel them. You see, adds one thing to another thing. Nor nor used to present an alternative negative idea to an already stated negative idea. I don't go for the fresh air, nor really for the dogs. Honestly, I just like the soccer. Okay, look, nor, for us to understand nor, it's very simple. And I will explain it to you in Spanish, nor, ni. That's the meaning in Spanish, ni. Like, I don't like this, nor this. Okay? No me gusta esto, ni lo otro. That's nor. Okay? It's used with a negative sentence. Okay? It's used for a negative sentence. Let's continue. But, but shows contrast. The soccer in the park is entertaining in the winter, but it's better in the heat of summer. But, it means that is entertaining in the winter. Contrast, the opposite. It's better in the heat of summer. Okay, let's see. Like, hmm. uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, this group is understanding a lot, but for the next level, they are going to learn even more contrast, okay? That's when we use but for contrast, like uh, Fernando and Maria Alejandra, get along pretty well. Se lleva muy bien. Fernando works on computers, but Maria Alejandra works in something different. You see? A contrast. Like, uh, I love, uh, like, let's see, let's see, let's see. Claudia loves eating pupusas, but I don't like them. You see? Contrast, opposite, okay? Like, man, it's hot in my house, but at Carlos' house is very fresh. Contrast, opposite. That's when we use but. Let me continue. Any question up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? No teacher. Okay, let's continue. Wow, guys, you're very good. I don't know if you're very good or you are like pretty completely at, at a loss. Now we got or. Or presents an alternative or a choice. What would you prefer, tea or coffee? What would you prefer, tea or coffee? Another example would be, okay, guys, tell me, uh, 
Do you like this approach to the class or would you prefer a more serious one? I present another option, okay? You get the idea? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Let's continue. Then we got JET, okay. JET introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logical. Similar to but, I always take a book to read. JET, I never seem to turn a single page. Okay, JET, I always take a book to read. JET, I never seem to turn a single page. It's similar to but. Now, in this case, there's something that we gotta be clear of. Jet is similar to, 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 uh, to the one that I told you to but when it comes at the beginning, when it's joining ideas, cuando está uniendo ideas, after a comma, okay? Because you are going to encounter, you are going to find that jet is also used at the end of a sentence. Cuando se utiliza yet al final de una oración, quiere decir aún. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, um, you know what? I was checking everybody's platform, but some of you have not worked on the platform yet. Estaba checando la plataforma, pero algunos de ustedes no han trabajado en ella aún. Yet. Ok. When it goes to the end, it means aún. Questions? No? Okay. Do you do you have more example? Oh, we will. Don't worry. No, don't worry. We will get more. No se preocupe. Tendremos más. Okay. Like here, in this case. Remember, JET introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically, similar to BOT. So we say, I always take a book to read, yet I never seem to turn a single page. Okay? Uh, another example. You know what, guys? Uh, I don't like pupusas, yet I have to eat them every weekend. No choice. You see, Claudia? I don't like pupusas, yet I have to eat them every weekend. Otherwise, no food for me. You see, like uh, hmm. we are in a pandemic, yet Claudia is teaching to her students. A pesar que, that would be yet in this case. Is it clear now, Claudia? Yes. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay. So, so indicates effect or consequence. I've started dating one of the soccer players. So now I have an excuse to watch the game each week. So, effect or consequence. Simple. So, así que. That's the idea, okay? Así que. And Roxana is like this. Yeah, because I remember Okay, that listen, so listen, Roxana. Yes, tell me, tell me. It's similar to entonces? No. Okay, look. Roxana is like this. So, she has doubts. Roxana está así. Así que tiene dudas. You get it? In this case, remember, Roxana, we are using it to join two ideas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What you mean is when it starts a sentence. La idea que usted tiene con la que se ha confundido es porque a veces se usa para iniciar una oración. Mm -hmm. So, Roxana, you are doing good today. Roxana, estamos bien ahora, ¿verdad? Ok. In that case, it's one sentence and so begins the sentence. 
-hmm. In mm -hmm. other case, Roxana was like this. So it means she didn't understand. You see, it's just used to join ideas. In that case, it's así que. Okay. It could be entonces. Podría entenderse como entonces. Entonces, o quiere decir que. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you know, Maria opened her camera. So she finished the French fries. You see? Let's continue. Okay. If a coordinating conjunction is joining together two independent clauses, things that could feasible stand alone as complete sentences, it needs to have a comma with it. Okay, the comma divides them. If the conjunction is connecting two phrases in complete sentences or words as in a list, it does not need a comma. Okay, this is very important. If we got two different ideas and complete ideas, the comma is necessary. But if it's connecting incomplete sentences, like in a list, doesn't need the comma, okay? A subordinating conjunction always introduces a dependent clause, tying it to an independent clause. The clauses can go in any order, that is, the independent or the dependent clause can come first in the sentence, but in either order. The first word of the dependent or subordinate clause will be the subordinating conjunction. Okay, this is when we talk about subordinating conjunctions that we got after, although, as, as long as, because, before, but we are not going to work with them. I'm just showing them to you. Even if, if, once, now what, since, though, unless, until, when, while. And then we have correlative conjunctions. They come in pairs and you have to use both of them in different places and in a sentence to make them work. Correlatives are like both and, whether or, either or, neither, nor, no, but, and not only, but also. This one goes together in the sentences. I want either the cheesecake or the frozen hot chocolate. I have both the cheesecake and the frozen hot chocolate. I didn't know whether you want the cheesecake or the frozen hot chocolate. Chocolate. So I got you both. Oh, you want neither the cheesecake nor the frozen hot chocolate? No problem. I leave them both. Not only the cheesecake, but also the frozen hot chocolate. I see you're in the mood, not for dessert, but appetizers. I'll help you with those two. Okay, the difference between not only, but also above and. This one, guys, is just for you to make a review. And don't pay attention to this, nor to this. Okay, now, I'm sorry for that I just breezed you off for the other ones. It's just for you to get the information. But what I'm like really, really, really interested in is the fan boys. Those are the ones we are going to be working. Okay. And let me show you something else. So you can have them like easier. Always check out the information in the manual. Remember that I always take the information from there. Okay. Simple sentences with coordinating conjunctions. Those are the fanboys. An adjective clause is also called a relative clause. We got for, explain reason or purpose, just like because, and as one thing to another, nor presents an alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one, but shows contrast or presents an alternative or a choice. Yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically. So indicates effect, result, or consequence. Okay, let's see. 
I go to expensive restaurants where the service and dishes are very good, but we are not going to do this. Now, what are you going to do right now? Okay, guys, I'll get you working in groups of three members. Okay, you are going to divide the activity between the three members of the group because I need you to write one sentence per conjunction. For and yes, one per. Remember, which are the conjunctions we are going to be working? Very simple, you can check in the manual. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me see if we do it in a different way because of the time. Okay, guys. Now let's see. The conjunctions are four. What is the next one after four? N. N after N? Nor. 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 And but. then? But, perfect. Or? We got but, then we got or. Yet. Yet. So. Yet, and the last one is so. Okay. You are divided in seven different groups. Each group is going to make Two, just of the one that I point there. Like Maria Alejandra, Marta, and Roxana just got four. Two sentences using four, okay? Fernando, Silvia, and William, two using and. Marcela, Susana, and Jensi, two using nor. Amber, Daniel, and Maria Luisa, two using but. Francisco, Walter, and Janira, two using or. Jose and Nestor, two using yet, and Claudia and Fabiola, two using so, okay? You will have four minutes for the activity, just two sentences, okay? Let's do it. Let's jump in, guys.
Yes. Is restaurant is restaurant continue? Um, maybe my favorite restaurant is San Martin because for me, um, sure. that for for me, okay. they have a delicious flavors. Is San Martin. My favorite restaurant is San Martin. Martin for because for me they have a delicious flavors. Mm. For is similar to because because yes. So uh, my favorite restaurant is San Martin. For the delicious dishes? For the delicious uh, dishes they got. Yeah. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, miss. Have you done your sentences? You got what you got. You got N. Yes. yes. And I like soda and I love drinking coffee. Okay, I have one sentence using N. Um, right. I didn't I didn't check my car before leaving home and it broke on my way to work. Perfect. And the other one, I ordered my food. 40 minutes ago and they haven't served my food yet. Well, great. Why don't you type for your classmates to get it right here in the group? Okay, perfect. I, ha I have to send them. But don't have vacation leave. Liberty vacation. Okay. I like to trim, but uh, I am allergic. <laughs> okay. Uh, a ver, a ver. Daniel, do you have any mm. example? Yeah, maybe I want vacation, but if I don't work, I don't earn money. Is that right, teacher? Yep. Okay. I like I like uh, I like dry 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 drive the motorcycle but no no have I I don't have motorcycle but I don't have one but 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 I Come uh, and you change the bread for um, tostones. What's that? Yes, I, <laughs> well, I add, about Santa Burguesa. <laughs> mm -hmm. I add In Santa Burguesa, Burguesa, you change the bread and put a uh, tostones. <laughs> No idea what's that. No cheating. I don't. Uh, 
with a Marcel example. I don't like to eat cake nor any dessert. This dessert? Dessert? Nor any oh, other dessert. Ah, uh, nor any other dessert. Yeah. Doesn't like to he, drink nor smoke. Oh my gosh. He doesn't go fishing it's nor boy. to the camp. <laughs> A good boy in the example tree. Uh, that's boring. That's boring. <laughs> yeah, Teacher, is correct to say go fishing or go to fishing? Go fishing. Go fishing. Okay, let's see. Remember, please share your sentences in the group. Type your sentences, please. Mándame las oraciones en el grupo, please. Por WhatsApp? Yep, that's okay. Okay. Please, guys, send me the sentences. Let's see, I got everyone. Yep, I got everyone. Please, in the group, I need you to send me each one of you, at least one of your sentences, please. Now, you got one minute to do it now, right here. I send you, teacher, uh, in the group. Check, Amber, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Perfect, Ambar, you are the only one who has sent me. Ah, but it's your group. Perfect. Thank you, Maria Luisa. I want you. I want a new car. Ah, the... Let's see, Jency, she didn't go to classes, nor she did the homework. I don't like to eat cake, nor any other dessert. He doesn't like to drink, nor smoke. It doesn't go fishing nor to the camping day. Okay, perfect. Excellent. I am asking for everybody to text them there so we can like everybody get, take advantage of it. Let's see, Claudia. Hello, teacher.
Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I'm checking all the sentences. Uh -huh. Perfect, Sylvia. Good sentence, actually. Jose Ernesto, I will. Uh, uh, Jose Ernesto, yet I haven't bought a car. Okay, okay, you're doing good, guys. Let's see. Well, we wait for everybody to send. Let's see. Let's see. Fernando. Uh -huh. Excellent, Fernando. Very well done. Fernando, and in the afternoon, I will go to the lake. And in the afternoon, okay. or, or the yeah. afternoon, you can say in or for in that case. And in the afternoon, okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, Francisco and company, which, which brand? Brand. See? And what do you prefer? Going to the beach or going to the mountain? Remember, if you start a sentence using the verb, that verb goes in ing form. Okay, guys, well, 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 very well done. Excellent activity. Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect, guys. Oh my gosh, I still got another one. Excellent, excellent. You've done well. I will check them slowly after the class. Don't worry, I will. And if I got any comment, I will add them. Okay, let's see. Our class is almost finished. Almost, not yet. So, for uh, I will explain like on a big detail on Monday, but I just want to get you the idea of the final work. And I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Eh, nuevamente, para aquellos que comienzan a trabajar conmigo, eh, cada módulo, siempre al final del módulo, tenemos una actividad un poquito más grandecita, una tarea grande que la asigno del inicio del curso y la recibo al final del módulo. Okay? Normalmente la idea es que Ustedes puedan preparar algo y puedan evaluarse ustedes mismos cómo han avanzado, cómo han desarrollado, cómo han mejorado en su, en su actividad. Lo estoy explicando en español para que lo tengan. Claro, esto no es parte de la plataforma, no es parte de, de lo que vemos en el manual, pero sí es algo que trabajamos juntos y, y la idea es ayudarnos y ver qué tanto avanzamos. So, the final homework, guys. It's free topic. Free topic. But you need to prepare a presentation about any topic and you're going to be speaking for two minutes, okay? 
the final homework, the final three classes, las últimas tres clases, you will have two minutes for speaking about any topic you choose. Okay? Cualquier tema, se escoge. Like I want to talk about, uh, let's see, I want to talk about the weather in El Salvador. Well, you know, El Salvador is a very interesting country because the weather in El Salvador, it's, um, well, it's special. It varies because one moment it's sunny, one moment it's raining. Okay? In English, for two minutes. That's what the final homework is going to be about. Esa será la tarea final. Questions? Preguntas? No? Teacher, perdón, ¿cuál es la tarea? Dijo. Usted escoge un tema libre, cualquier tema que usted quiera, y va a hablar durante dos minutos de ese tema en las últimas Ah, okay. ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, there's not more. Let me get the final attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corteño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. I'm here, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Muila. Present. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Ordanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Be good. Enjoy your weekend. See you Monday. Bye bye. Bye. Good See you night. Monday, teacher. See you Monday. Bye. Bye. See you. Take care. Bye. See you. Nice weekend. Nice weekend. Hello, teacher. Hello, 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 hello. Let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. Hello, Claudia. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Well, here you don't know, say more story. So tell me, Claudia, how was the topic today? Did you understand it? Yes, and um, um, I um, tenía dificultad para entender el yet, pero es como el but. Yep. Ajá, como um, pero algo así, yet. Yep, yeah, exactly, exactly. Lo único que a veces se pronuncia como para separar dos oraciones completas, pero al final también, entendí que al final también se puede no, usar. Cuando lo ponemos al final, quiere decir aún. Ajá, como que no se ha completado. Y en, ese caso, no, en este caso no es una conjunción, porque no está uniendo. La conjunción son conectores. Ajá. Cuando hablamos de una conjunción, estamos hablando de un conector. Una palabra que nos sirve a nosotros para unir dos. Así es simple. A mí me gusta esto y esto. A mí no me gusta 
no me gusta esto, ni es lo otro. Ok. Ok. En ese caso, esa es la función de ellos, ser conectores, unir dos ideas. Siempre puede haber, puede haber, puede darse el caso de que sean, de que haya una oración dependiente y una independiente. O dos oraciones independientes. Uh -huh. Lo que no pueden haber son dos oraciones dependientes, porque eso ya son condicionales. Son las que si se pudiese bien. asociar eh, como el uso de coma y punto y coma. Ya. Yep. Ok. ¿Cuál de todas usaría como la función de punto y coma? Bueno, no, no, perdón. Usamos coma. Ah, so, ah, ok. Solo coma. No punto y coma. Ok. A ver, ¿cuándo usamos punto y coma en español? ¿En español? ¿Sí? No, 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 no nos cabe acá. Solo coma usamos. Ok. En inglés no se utiliza entonces. Sí se utiliza en inglés, pero no en este caso. Más adelante lo va a ver. Relax, sí. relax. Tranquila, tranquila. Lo vamos a ver pero más adelante. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Now, any other doubt? ¿Algo otra dudita con respecto a otro de los temas que hemos visto? Uh, no. Uh, now I did my homework. Uh, tenía una duda con tú. Pero I, I look at Uh, it's better. Okay. Oh, for the with the comparatives. You see the comparative. I since I tenía esa duda y lo probaba y después dije no lo voy a buscar y lo busqué y ya. So you were working. Que eso cambiaba right. totalmente. Yes. Uh, yesterday I was explaining that they were irregular. Ayer le explicaba de que son irregulares. It's like big, big, bigger. Big. Mm -hmm. It doubles the G. Duplica la mm -hmm. G. That's mm -hmm. not normal. That's, eso no es del todo normal. Mm -hmm. eh, good es un irregular. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene una forma propia para su comparativo y para su superlativo. Good, better, best. Okay. Okay. Es, como, es como bigger, bigger, biggest. Pero son, son muy pocos los irregulares. El resto sigue en las reglas normales. Yeah, because the sentence was, my house is bigger than yours. Se los envié en el, en la, en el documento okay. que les envié ahora, los va a encontrar. Okay. Ahí los tiene, ahí los tiene, no se preocupe. Véalos. Yo les recomendaría darle una fiadita. Y si tiene una duda, pues me cuento durante el fin de semana, no hay problema, yo estoy available, estoy disponible, ¿ok? Ok. Eh, but tell me, how was this period, this post we have, did you practice? Repeat, please. Because... In this post, in these two weeks that we didn't have class, were you practicing? Uh, yes, teacher, I, I was looking looking yes at uh, the the site or apps and the platform you mean yes este encontré el lingualia se llama uno so you were looking for another for extra sí, lingo se llama yeah, otra yeah. que yo estuve revisando pero esa no me gustó Yeah, yes, well, sir. you know, it's it's different. The important thing is this. Remember, whenever we get a pause, like the weekend, it's very important that you try to get in contact with the language at least five minutes, even during the weekend. Okay, at least five minutes, practice the language. Five to ten minutes, that's enough, but practice it. I would recommend you now that you are in intermediate not to stop practicing. Not even one single day. Okay? Don't stop practicing. You need to keep on because we are going to get right now into more vocabulary. And vamos a llegar a más vocabulario. If you have noticed, 
si se ha dado cuenta, I am speaking faster. Estoy hablando más rápido. Okay. Clases. That's because this is intermediate, but I, mean, I don't need, I don't need to be slower as I was in basics. Acá ya no, no tiene sentido que vaya así de lento como estaba en el básico. That's why I'm using more new vocabulary. Estoy utilizando nuevo vocabulario. And I'm going like faster. Mm -hmm. So, my advice for you is this. Try to practice as much as possible. Don't stop getting in contact with the language. No deje de estar en contacto con el lenguaje. That means, eso quiere decir practice. Every day. I mean, weekends. I know that weekends are like for relaxing. Five to ten minutes. That's enough. But get in contact with the language. Don't stop never practicing the language. Okay? Okay, teacher. Sí, ya. Estoy practicando. Okay. That's excellent. Claudia, by the way, I'm going to have you again. La veré de nuevo. Monday, September the 20th. El 20 de septiembre. Tengo también okay. 10 minutos para usted. Oye. Ok. Anótelo por ahí porque esos 10 minutos van a ser exclusivos. Perfecto. Ahora la moví, a usted le correspondía día lunes, pero el compañero se nos fue, así que aprovechamos para anotar. Uh -huh. Ok. Claudia, okay. a pleasure. ¿Is there any other question? ¿Hay otra preguntita? No. Ok, my dear. Go to rest. I know you. You really need Thank it. Thank you, teacher. Sé que lo necesita. Students are like yeah. <laughs> yes. Go rest. Have a good weekend. See you Monday. See you Monday, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Have a good night. Okay, and so our class finishes like this, we will see what Mondays brings along for all of us. Let's check that everything is in order and pick up shape. And see you Monday. Bye-bye.